How's it going guys? My name is Aelian and today I'm back on another Identity 5 video. Today I will be doing my very first hunter guide and this hunter guide is for Geisha Mexico. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is my very first hunter guide. I've done survivor guides before, but never a hunter guide. I am a top 50 hunter, so I do know a lot about hunters. And I usually main Smiley, but Geisha is my new favorite hunter to play. So I already explained her abilities in a previous video that I will have in the cards. But I'll just take a quick overview of them. Dash hit, basically, if a survivor is not looking at her, she dashes to them through any terrain. As soon as they do look at her, she stops her dash. Next, soul departure, she flies up in the air, and this gives her an aerial view of the map. And if she sees any survivor that has their back turned towards them, she can dash hit from soul departure. And lastly, when you hit 2500 presence, her dash hit speed gets increased. Triple phases. She has three different moods. She has a regular mood. She has a regular mood where she looks like this. And in this regular mood, she has fast movement speed. And then when she starts attacking, she changes to uh, Prajna status, if that's how you pronounce it. And... Her mask changes, and now she has slow movement speed, but she hits. Now she's going to do actions. And lastly, she has, when she's in Prajna status, so with that mask on, but then she puts her fan over her eyes when a survivor is looking at her, and she goes much, much slower. So now let me explain the build that I believe is the best to use with her. It's all the way to the right so that you can get wanted order. I feel basically for hunters, I always do detention and wanted order. You can do confined space. Insolence is pretty bad. You can do confined space if you want. But with Geisha, since she can already um, go through pallets I don't, and windows, I don't feel any need to use this. Okay, so one in order, I wanted that for that. Plus, movement speed is increased by 50% when balloons are tied to survivors. And then you go all the way down to get detention. This is a must-have trait, the best trait in the game you can get. It's a one hit when the exit gate is powered on for two minutes. And then the you go two spots up so you can get deteriorate, which is a good trait. And so I could get Fallen, Misfortune, which I like. And then you want to get Announcement. Announcement is a must-have, so you can know which exit gate to teleport to. And then Lark, which really helps to see which Cypher Machine is getting highlighted. Because when you're moving towards a Cypher Machine, it's tough to see whether it is shaking or not. You can change out Fallen, Misfortune for Deer Hunt, which I probably would do. Because many times I misplace incapacitated survivors. But this is something like on me. If you don't misplace them, you should be fine. So now let's get into some gameplay with Geisha. Let's see the queue time. It's going to be a minute, 13 seconds. So I probably will have to cut the video to when I find a match. Lately, the queue times have been really long. I don't know if they queue by your ranking or if it's just completely random. But I do know the queue times have been pretty long when they used to not be. So I do think it's by your ranking since I'm pretty high in the rankings. So I finally got into a match. I've been sitting here for 50. Yes, 50 minutes waiting for a match 
in prime time. And I've been sitting here for 50 minutes waiting for a match. But finally, I found one so I can play as Geisha. And that is Orange Kitty. She is right. I am her friend or his friend. So they are on my friends list. But yeah, finally I get to do this video. It's been 50 minutes. I've been, I've almost fell asleep. But let's get into a game at last. I may have to make like a Smurf account just so I can make these videos. Since it takes forever to get into any hunter match. It takes two seconds to get into a survivor match. But then it takes 50 minutes to get into a hunter match. Okay, so basically I'm just looking for my first victim going around and there goes someone right now. The first person I want to get is the Mind's Eye because she's the fastest decoder. She's also not good at running away. So I want to get the Mind's Eye and then the Gardener and then the Doctor and lastly the Coordinator. And that's ideally what I want to do, but you can't always... Of course, get it perfect like that. So I was able to get her. So as you can see with Geisha, her downside is her decreased attack range. And also how long it takes for her to actually hit. Compared to someone like the clown, it takes a very long time to hit. So it's very difficult when you are trying to hit someone who's vaulting. It's very difficult to hit them with guys. So you actually have to start hitting before they start vaulting if you want to get the terror shot. So I did. The mind's eye was the first one I got. So I'm happy with that. I don't have to worry about the coordinator at all because the decoding speed is very slow. Just looking for that doctor that was close to here. Did she run away? So I will show you my flying ability. This is what it looks like. Basically it's only useful, and this is what she looks like in Prajna status. It's only useful if you are camping. Because then if you're camping one spot, you can just sit there the whole time. So here's the gardener. Is that her over? No, dang it. I misclick. I misclick. Mind's eye did get out. I'm not gonna camp this game just for the sake of the video. I would think they just saw it decoding over there, but they didn't. I guess they're healing up right now. So I'm actually going to use my teleport over there. Just because I'm so sure they're healing up. And now that I'm here, I can just fly up and see if I can find them. There they go. So that's something else that's good for when you get the red thing, you're actually able to see where people are. As you can see, when someone's looking at me, I go much slower. But of course, they also go much slower and they can't walk. Oh, they can walk, of course, but you know what I mean. So I did get Doctor, which is fine. This team is very easy because they have three people. They have three people who can all get put in the rocket chair and they only have one person to watch out for. Who should, they only have one person who has increased persistence so I shouldn't put in the rocket chair and that's the coordinator. She is coming to save her right now. Trying to get 
get two or only one side for remaining. She got the flare gun off. Or something. And they say. Dig it, one's kitty right there. <sighs> so, if I see someone decoding, I do have to teleport there since that's the last cipher. All the ciphers are over there. Even if Orange Kitty escapes, it's fine because they can't actually decode. I don't know what they're doing right now, what the doctor's doing. Because no one needs to be healed up. But whatever. I'm waiting for the coordinator. I know she's here somewhere, but it's fine. I'll just go by the doctor. Or, who's that? Is that the mind's eye I think I saw? Never mind, I'll go by the doctor. She will probably save Garner. Oh no, she's going the other way. Garner's down, so that's good. I messed up again. I keep misclicking. I wish I could like change the settings. Uh, they are decoding right there, so of course not going to let that happen. And it was the mind's eye, so she was going to decode quickly. If I can get the mind's eye, the only person I have to worry about is that was some lag. Okay. Yeah, my game is lagging as she just teleported over there. Ah, oh, the misclick. See, and that's stupid whenever it does that. Cause like, I don't even, she probably didn't even turn around, but they're just giving her that. There goes the doctor. Have a misclick, of course, but the doctor's right by the pallets. Or she's not. I don't know where she just went. Coordinators over there keep making noise, but I don't know what she's doing. Uh, I guess she's not doing anything, so she's just... Maybe she's AFK, to be honest. Because the crows are around her. The doctor's healing up the mind's eye right now, obviously, so. No, no, she's not AFK. This wasn't doing anything. And of course, perfect way to end it. the coordinator I'm for her in the chair and I know they're at that I'm gonna put her in the dun in the basement and then I'll be able to teleport if my game stops glitching I'll be able to teleport to that exit gate and I have detention so I won't be able to one hit okay she's gone Okay, so I do have detention. I see the mind's eye right now. So one hit. Let's go. Uh, if I can get her, I get the win. And 
I should get the win. Huh? Okay, so that is a win, not a perfect win. I would play another match, but I'm not trying to wait in a 50 minute queue again. So, that is the match for today. So, the Geisha, Geisha is a very strong hunter. I will have to play with her a little more to see if she is indeed the best hunter in the game. She's definitely top two to top three. Oh, she's definitely top two she's passed up the gamekeeper so she's definitely top two with smiley i'm not sure if she's better than him or not i just have to play with her in rank when she is available to play with ranked in six days but i do hope you enjoyed the video if this video helped you out in any way if it was informative please please leave a like on the video and if you do enjoy the content I'm putting out, please subscribe to the channel as there will be lots more of it. And I just recently hit 50 subscribers. I'm still on the road to 100 subscribers. And that will be all for the video. Bye.